We've just wrapped shooting on Channel 9's new crime drama, The Strip, which was shot entirely here on the Gold Coast. I've got to tell you, I've been living in the GC for four months. I absolutely love it. It's a fantastic place. So listen, I played Detective Jack Cross. I got you for a bit, you got me. Let's go for a tour of the tour. Now, Jack Cross is a detective from Melbourne, relocated to the Gold Coast to be part of an elite crime unit called the Crime Investigation Bureau, where he's partnered up with Francis Tully. So for my character, it's a bit of a culture shock, and it takes a while for him to settle in. Police. I want to see hands, bomber. OK, this is 50 Cabal Ave, otherwise known as Main Beach CIB. We have the third floor up here. It's our headquarters. It's where we solve all the crime. We've got 43 minutes to catch a cook every week. And this is the engine room up on the third floor. This is where everything's done. Dead Frankie set. J. Holden, he dishes out his style of justice for the naughty young detectives. I've seen him paddle into 30-footers. Now, this is back in the days before... Before tow on, on jet skis. Yeah, yeah, when old fast used to carve their boards out of planks of hardwood. Since I've been living on the Gold Coast, I've seen a lot of these little scooters around the place. Excellent for travelling around this beautiful weather and very cheap on the gas. My mum's got a sewing machine that sounds just like one of these. And action! Being the Gold Coast, the beach is one of the main locations of the series, so we'd be down there pretty much every day. And you really get to know the locals. There's a police. I think I know that guy. Darren! Hey, man! How you going? A bit north of the main drag at Sun City Hotel, there was a pretty gruesome plot line in the first episode last week, where a flirtatious window cleaner falls to his death, and our team discovers that the rope was actually cut. This is the actual scene of the crime here. Then I've got a little story for you. On the day, there was a bit of a mix-up and no one knew we were shooting here. So we had a guy frailing off the top story there fighting for his life. Within five minutes, we had ambulance, fire engines, police, all here, all very unhappy because they didn't know what was going on. But they're quick. Great response time. Very happy with them. Now, I'm a bit concerned this scooter is damaging my rep in this hood, so I'm swapping it for something with a bit more grunt and a chick on the back. OK, so the chick is actually my partner from the strip, Vanessa Gray, a.k.a. Francis Tully. I know you, Charlie. When we work together, there's no way in the world you would have missed a scam like this. Vanessa and I are headed for Mount Tambourine, about 45 minutes ride from surface. How was that, Ness? That was great. I like how you dodged the koala. Yep. There's nothing like blowing the cobwebs out and dodging the koalas. Now, listen, <laughs> we've got a special treat for you today. We came up here a couple of weeks ago just to check it out, and we came across this fantastic bar restaurant called Will's Place, owned by none other than Will Scarlet. Come have a look. OK, this is, uh, this is what I love more than anything. A beer, a little bit of food, and a great big fire, and that's what we've got behind us. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite. The fire. Mm. You stoked that fire, haven't you? You stoked that a lot. I stoke it every time I'm here. I stoke that fire. Yep. It's, it's important to have a big fire. Yeah, it is important. Yeah. And now, uh, and a big bike and a big fire. A <laughs> big. Yeah. Is that is that like compensating for something? I think. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's a very small wallet. Small wallet. Georgia. The best part about Will's place is Will. After a bite to eat, there's nothing better than sitting back and listening to the master himself sing the blues. Georgia, 